everybody. It's me again. Welcome back to my channel, Subscripts and Boxes and More with Michelle. And what do I have for you today? Well, do you remember just a couple of days ago, I did a video showcasing and reviewing this glue gun for the company um, uh, Bleds. I guess it's Bleds. See it? Ugh. Anyway, I did um, that um, like lantern, I guess you could call it, or candle holder or whatever out of clothespins. And I told you that I would do a video showing how I, you know, wooden clothespins like this, how I, what I would do with the metal pieces that I took off because I didn't want to waste those. It's the metal pieces that hold the clothespin together and make it pinch, right? This part that makes it do the pinching and grabbing. This is neat because it got that dark spot on it. Anyways, I have a whole baggie of those and I have used quite a few of them already and I want to show you what I did with the ones I already um, played around with and that is I made a couple of little flag embellishments. Now usually my flags I would do them a little differently and I would like kind of dovetail and do some things but this I made in a more triangular shape because um, the part the pinchy gravy you know part of the um, metal piece you know the size of it didn't allow for me to make as wide of a um, flag as I needed there's one that looks like Mau Mau see it's got um, it's washi tape a Mau Mau and some gold paw prints see and then another kitty cat that one's looking Siamese Yep, Siamese, and one, this is all from one washi tape, a uh, orange tabby, and then we have uh, one with a white one with dark ears, and looks like it's got orange on his body, I don't know. Um, what's this one? A, like, gray tabby, and then we have... This guy here, it's, I'm not sure what he is. I can't. But anyways, there's one of every kitty cat on the roll of washi tape on a piece of twine that I tied knots at the ends and in between so they can't slide back and forth any farther than I want them to. And um, I will hang out on a page in my journal either this way or along the side and they might dangle out then they might get ripped off or you know along this spine on the inside however it'll fit i did that one but i did another one and that is toe beans also washi tape of cat paws sorry i've got a couple places that aren't want to stick i'll have to glue those on the corners See the different paw prints? And I did this the same way, but I'm going to make something similar yet different today with you. And so I've got my little metal piece from my clothespin. But I also some, have some other pieces. I have, some, I have the same washi tape because it's going to be for my cat journal. So I have the same washi tape. So here is the purple paw prints that were on the... Um, like the lighter cats on the, this one had pur the purple and gold paw prints and the darker cats had the um, white with uh, or cream with gold. Um, anyway, they're, they're like the same size. But, and then there's the cat heads and the paw prints, right? All right, so I have that and I think I'm going to go with the paw print one, I think. I think. Um... I have a um, paper clip, sort of a medium sized paper clip, and some other things. And I'm going to direct you down. Please don't judge my very messy workspace. I've been really busy doing things, but I wanted to do this for you as I said I would. Let me direct this down so that you can see. Okay. So, as you can see, I have pieces and parts. I don't think I need that piece. I've got this piece cut already. 
and I'm going to double it over. It's the same one that I used before. I'm going to use this as a guide because I've got to cut this down and it has to fit inside of the um, inside of that metal piece. So let's see if I can line this up on my cutter and do it. If not, I'll have to do it by, nah, I'm going to do it by hand. It might come out wonky, but at least I will be able to do it easier. All right, this one, okay, how I did these ones is I cut those in half. I didn't, you know how I folded this in half? I cut it in half and each one of these was two. And then I folded it over and glued it on the back around that, okay? But this one, I'm going to feed through. This is in two halves, this piece here. And I'm going to feed it through that and actually have the flag on both sides and I'm going to glue that together on there I need my hot glue gun on I forgot to turn it on all right don't I had it touch in plastic don't do that that's not stick melt and stick to the bag all right I'm going to glue actually on that metal piece because I don't want it moving around inside of there and then I'm also gluing this shut, this little flag shut. So it'll be a double-sided flag because it's going to hang off on that paper clip. Line it up. I'll probably have some glue smooshing out. Yep, a little bit next to the metal. No, I don't have a piece of napkin. I usually have a napkin. Sorry about that, guys. My SD card got full when I was working, and thankfully I looked up and noticed. So the only thing that you missed is I had to straighten out my um, paper clip quite a lot to, I mean, almost straight to get this on it, okay, because it wouldn't go around the bend, but, you know, it's not going to fall off. And then I put this little chain on here, and that's how far we got. So I have got some things to embellish this up with. We're gonna start by gluing this piece of lace across the bottom. Excuse me, that's hot. You don't wanna be touching that. I think I'm gonna try using the hot glue for this. Hopefully it's still working. Hopefully my battery didn't go dead. Looks like we won't be using. All right, so anyways, we're gonna glue this lace on the bottom of there. We need to, stop. Okay, um, the next paw print on here is black, but I really want the white one. So I'm gonna cut this off and stick it on my dream box because I wanna use it. I don't want it wasted. I tried to cut my fingers. All right, now it was the one right before the black. Okay, so that's gonna go there. This is gonna go above it. Two beans. <coughs> Wrap it around the back a little bit. I will have to glue that later because those will pop out. Trust me, they will. All right, there's the white one. See if this is melted enough yet. It's not. Okay. Let's move that down. We can work on this a little bit. Anyways, there's a little heart to dangle on that chain, but we need to be able 
clip that wire. So I need a pair of wire cutters. And I don't have them right here. All right, my husband's looking for the wire cutters and I'm going to see if this is hot enough to glue that down. I think my battery's dead. Yeah, my battery's dead. So I don't have time to charge it up. So we're just gonna use glue glue. Sorry guys, I wanted to use my glue gun. I forgot to turn it off while I went in there and dealt with getting things off my SD card and likely it died while I was doing that. Hopefully that'll hold it. Need more glue than that. to this stuff may not hold because I had intended to use my glue gun and I just dropped my flower. The flower was a little too white for what I wanted so I took a um, distress ink pad and put some pink on it which brings out the pink in the paw print anyways. Let's see if we can get that to stay right there oh i forgot something well before that gets too dry i have some embroidery floss in green if i can find the end of i want to take and make kind of a fussy Take this, tie it around the center of this, like kind of like, like a messy bow, only what's actually going to be is leaves for the flowers. And just tie that around there. Kind of a bow, kind of a thing of leaves. So we need to remove that flower that's that there first. And then Trying to turn it to a jaunty little angle there. Come on. Turn to an angle a little bit. Don't cover up the paw print though. And then we're going to put glue on top of that. Hot glue. I think it wants to do stick to me and not stick to it. Hopefully this is going to hold together, guys. I hope. As I said, I had planned on using the glue stick, and that would have held. At least for the temporary, it would have held. Come on, you. Don't stick to me. Stick to it. All right, I'm going to have two little baby's breath flowers here that I want to also put on there. And this is probably all going to fall apart because... I don't know. I just, I have a bad feeling. Okay, so we're back to gluing on our little flowers. So if everything sticks and doesn't stick too much to the cutter. Yes, that's what it's doing. It's not sticking to it, it's sticking to the cutter. Come on, you. Be nice to me. Okay. Well, there's everything. Hopefully it sticks. Alright, so... And that came right off of there. That chain. Well, that may not work real good. Real well, not real good. I'll hang it on the other side. Maybe it'll... 
The wire cutters are not in here. Let's see if I get that part off of there. Yep. Okay. These jump rings. We'll unfurl the eyes. It won't be as good, but hopefully it'll give you an idea. Get this little white kitty cat that looks like my Shuggy Shug. Nice sugar. Oh, guys, I need my other tools. Move my jump ring just a little bit. Put it on here. I'm going to close the jump ring. Alright, well. The cat playing with the cat toy by me. I think I'm trying to play a game of Operation or something. Alright, if I hold on to that, you should be able to see that we have a cat dangly charm on there as well. See? So far, so good. Now, if I can figure out how to get these parts on here like I wanted to, I'm going to try to cheat and use this instead of the wire that I can't because I couldn't cut the wire. Straighten this out as much as you can and make a little circle on one end. Close it off so that the V can't fall off. Then I'm going to feed the heart on. And then I'm going to put the chain, put it through the chain. And then I'm going to make the loop. Which is essentially what I was going to do with the wire, only I didn't have a way of cutting the wire down to size, so we're just. not perfect, but it will do. I'm going to get another one of those on and I'll be right back. Okay. So anyways guys, it's still drying, but here we have our paperclip embellishment. If I can hold it up and not have it fall apart, that would be great. Alright, so here's our paperclip embellishment with the flag, with the palm print, with the flowers, with the lace, and we have a piece of chain that I found that has a dangle of a white kitty cat. Let me get this where you can actually see what I'm doing. I'm trying to hold on to the paper clip. It's got a white kitty cat charm and some pink and white hearts. And the pink and white flower. And a little couple of white flowers there and the white paw print toe beans. Do you see it? And so that can go on the side of a page, or the top of a page, or however, on a book, a uh, journal. I have it going so that actually instead of hanging outside the book, which I was afraid that it was a little much for hanging outside the book, I have it so it'll hang like inside the book. So here we have it. What do you think, guys? Tell me what you think of my paper clip embellishment that I used the metal piece of a clothespin that we used the wood already. I didn't want to waste it, so I needed to find a way that I could use them. And I may find a different way to use them as well. But there's the kitty cat dangle in the hearts, in the paw print, with the, the swashy tape, in the flower, in the um, base breath flowers, and the leaves slash bow that we made out of the um, embroidery glass. And there we have um, a bit of lace. Be right back, somebody's at the door. All right, guys, so again, here is the finished 
paper clip. I think it's so cute. And then take that off of there. And let that lay so it can finish drying. Uh, then we have the the flags here. And again, they'll probably drape a little bit. You know, they won't be completely straight like that. But there you go. I have it painted with the clothespin as a reminder that it was it started out as those metal pieces from the clothespins. And then we have a ball print one. So what do you think of my use of the metal pieces left over from the clothespins? I uh, just thought that we should do something with those besides just throwing them away. Um, let me know what you think, guys. And please give me a big old thumbs up because you know that would really help my channel. And please subscribe to my channel. And please share my video with others so maybe they might subscribe as, as well. And these things, you'll see them again, by the way, in my cat junk journal as we finish working on that project. And thank you so much for watching and for listening to me babble. And I'll see you again in a minute in another video. Bye, guys.